Many of you may be confused by what is a Labrador Retriever? What is an American Labrador? What is a British Labrador? The Labrador Retriever breed had its origins in Newfoundland. And because people all over the world and forever have liked to meld things to their own specific needs, over the years the Labrador Retriever has changed from its origins. And now we tend to see a multitudinous what we'll call types. We see what people call British dogs, which to John Q. Public usually means, I want a big head, a heavy body, a heavy coat. Or to some other people, British dogs mean, I've heard the British dogs are easier going and you don't have to train them very much and they know everything and they're smaller and they don't shed as much. To the American style, which most of the people in the U.S. would equate to our field and performance types dogs who tend to be more energetic, a little more refined in shape, and I equate the difference probably most easily for those of you who ever watched horse races, the confirmation Labrador or the show Labrador is quarter horse style, blocky, hefty, short distance. The Field or performance Labrador is much more like the thoroughbred, much more elegant, longer limbed, sleeker, much faster, much higher energy. You could transfer it almost to warm bloods versus cold blo to uh, cold bloods in horses. Again, the warm bloods are kind of in the middle. The cold bloods are like Percherons, real laid back. And then if you were to get into the hot bloods or the field trial dogs, that would be like our Arabians of the dog world. So it's important when you contact a breeder that you have in mind what you are looking for in a dog. And the big thing you should, the breeder should ask you is, what do you want to do with this dog? I've been asked what I think are the strengths and the weaknesses of the Labrador, and I'll try to cover that in both venues, meaning performance venues as well as confirmation or our beauty contests. And I think when it comes to our confirmation dogs, we need to realize again the function of this breed. And as our bodies get to be heavier, and as they become a greater percentage of the dog relative to leg length, we are functionally limiting their ability to do the work for which they were intended. The strength of the Labrador for both performance dogs and confirmation dogs is their wonderful personalities, attitudes, and trainability. That's something the Labrador will never lose. They are a wonderful, wonderful breed. Our confirmation dogs tend to be very sweet, very amenable, and wonderful dogs to live with, but we need to not have them so overdone, and by overdone, I mean Percheron type, that they are no longer able to function. On the complete flip side of that, many of our field dogs are, have become so elegant and so extreme that they are at risk of damage to joints just due to lack of substance and structure and type. And particularly in field dogs, many of them have totally lost that important water-resistant coat. So we have fallaways on both sides of our venue. I would love to say that I believe that there will be another day when we have another dual champion Labrador. I believe that day has passed us. And for now, and hopefully for a long time to come, we will still be able to have champion master hunters who are able to demonstrate that while beautiful examples of our breed, they also have the body structure and type and the desire and the talent to be able to re be really outstanding working retrievers. We have lots of opportunities to do that uh, today, but both sides need to look at where the other side is coming from. And if there is one take home message that I would like to say to everybody, remember regardless of our differences, our unifying factor is we all love the same breed which is the Labrador Retriever. So big, little, short, long, slick coated, fluffy coated, and whatever black, yellow, or chocolate they come in, 
they are all Labradors and each of us treasure those dogs for different reasons.